Ski everybody, welcome to yet again another fitness video. Sorry for a long time since I've done the last video. Hey, decided to go ahead and start off right by actually doing a chest day video. As you can see here, I just got a brand new toy, aka the new Swiss bar I just picked up from Extreme Monkey via Amazon. As always, I start off light and from here I actually went ahead and did a reverse drop set, increasing the weight until I got a little over two and a quarter. And from there I actually dropped down to my last set with change. Likewise, we then decided to go ahead and incline. And this time, I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and keep the weight where it is and keep the Swiss bar. So, right now, I'm just doing, you know, a 45 on each side. So, I did one set, kind of warming up with just the plate. If not, I did three more sets with the chains for the same amount of weight. Decided to go ahead and do some spin training dips. Go ahead the lower part of the chest as well as get more emphasis on the triceps. You know, I did one warm set with my body weight, then threw 125 on there, and then did a couple sets with 225s on there. And as you can see here, I'm actually using my brand new dip belt that I got from Spuds Incorporated. I just want to give some more upper chest, so I decided right doing the dips, go into some inclined dumbbell chest fly. All those plies, so I had to go ahead and superset reverse grip standing incline chest press with standing incline chest press with a regular grip.
then moved on to resist band, single arm chest flies, to one arm side presses. As you can see here, I do about eight to 12 reps of flies, and then from there, I do the same thing with the presses. So you see there, I just switched my arm movement. So I decided to go ahead, get one side, and of course, I also have to work the other side. But one thing you will notice is, when I move to the other side, I decided to go ahead and speed up the video so you don't have to watch the entire set. Right afterwards, I had to do some rear delt pulls to kind of give my front delts a rest and get a good stretch in after doing all those pressing and fly movements to my chest. And of course, another reason I had to do those rear delt pulls so I went right into close grip bench press with the Swiss bar. And basically, as you can see here, I decided to throw some chains in there. And this makes that a lot harder to stretch with the neutral grip because now it's extremely awkward. So I did three sets like that. Third set, I didn't get all the reps I wanted. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I dropped the chains and dropped the weight. Just hammer off this last set. As you can see here, I'm doing three sets of the heavier stuff. My arms are extremely wobbly. I pretty much grabbed the smaller neutral grip bar and went right into skull crushers. to go ahead and finish it off with four minutes of tricep extensions with resistance band and for obvious reasons I'm not going to show you the entire set just a few highlight clips from that four minute set and from doing that I went straight into overhead tricep extensions all right school reminders let everybody know I'm still doing my abs class at 6 p.m. on Monday nights at UDM as well as my boot camp sessions at 4 p.m. on every Friday so if you guys are in the area please stop by other than that thank you guys once again for watching until next time peace out